It is being called a beautiful natural phenomenon. Kalia Pond and Kihei turned pink. As Bryce Moore explains, researchers believe algae is behind the colorful hue. A chef by trade, Travis Morin has a passion for photography in between his restaurant jobs. When a friend called him yesterday to tell him that Kalia Pond had turned pink, and I'm like, I, there's no way. I'm like, I don't, I don't believe it. It's, it can't be that pink. So at sunset, I was just driving by uh, on my way out of Kihei, and I looked over and I was like, that does look very pink. He parked his car and sent up a drone. I thought, I was like, it kind of looked like the color of Pepto-Bismol. I think, you know, part of the reason why it was so vibrant was it was the time of the day. There was less glare. There was less reflection. The Pacific Whale Foundation says Kealia Pond used to be connected to the ocean, but not for the last few years. Add on the drought conditions West Maui is experiencing. That has caused some algae and bacteria to bloom. Um, some species that are very salt tolerant and that thrive in a salty environment. The fresh water is evaporating and leaving behind a lot of salt. And so that's leaving it with this beautiful pink color. It seems that those type of algaes, they have beta carotene pigment in them, which is like what gives carrots the color that they have. It's nothing man-made or toxic that we need to be concerned about. So this is not Photoshop. It's not a prank. Like someone dumped something into the water. This appears to be natural. That's right. It's not a joke. It's not. Um, it's not a Halloween prank or anything of that nature. It, it's real life. Nature is sometimes pretty amazing. The pond is home to fish and birds who don't seem to be affected, and no large die-offs have been reported. I mean, I would not recommend anyone go out there and taste it, but I'm sure it's extremely salty water right now. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says the Department of Health collected samples and sent them to UH for analysis. We'll follow up on what they learn. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.